The final Grand Tour of the year, the Vuelta España, kicks off this weekend in Toro Vieja. And by now we've spoken about the big name riders to watch in our preview show and who we think will be wearing the red jersey come the final stage in Madrid. Basically who we've given the kiss of death to. So I thought it would be a great idea to look at some of the up and coming young riders who you should be keeping an eye on and watching during this year's Vuelta. But before I do, make sure you subscribe to GCN if you haven't already, and also click the little bell icon so that you get a notification every time we upload a video, including our Vuelta highlights, which we'll be doing during the race. First up is Tadej Pogacar. The Slovenian from UAE Team Emirates might well be the youngest rider in the race at just 20 years old, but he's genuinely a podium contender. He shot in our collective conscious last year with his stunning win at the Tour de l'Avenir, and that allowed him to join the World Tour for 2019. And it didn't take him long to settle in, as back in February, he won the Volta Algarve. Pogaccia backed that up with the GC win at the Tour of California, and then the youth classification at the Itzulia Basque Country and Tour of Slovenia. Now, the big question hanging over the 20 year old is, at such a young age, will he have the endurance for a three week race? Well, either way, he's a genuinely exciting prospect, and he'll surely be challenging for the win on some of the toughest summit finishes. Sergio Higita, the Higita monster, as he's known, may have only competed in two races for EF Education First, but he did only join the team at the end of May. But he's already made a huge impact. In the Tour of California, he finished a very impressive second place after narrowly missing out on the Queen stage at Mount Baldy after he took the final corner a little bit too wide. And then in the Tour of Polonia, he finished an impressive fourth place after some really strong and consistent riding. In the Vuelta, Higuita will most likely ride in support of Rigoberto Aran's GC campaign, but you can expect him to be one of the last riders left in the high mountains with Aran, along with the team's other Colombian climbing sensation, Daniel Martinez. Fabio Jakobsen, the 22-year-old sprinter from De Kernic Quickstep, has had an incredible season in 2019. He won his first race of the year, the stage one of the Volta Algarve, and then he won his second Shell de Prix, a race that he's only competed in twice, two out of two. Fair play. And then he topped that off with a win in the Dutch National Road Race Championships as well. The Vuelta will be Jakobsen's first ever Grand Tour, and he'll be up against some tough sprinting opposition in the form of Sam Bennett, Fernando Gaviria, and the on-form Luca Mezjek. But he will be able to count on a super strong lead out from Quick Step. But should he lose the lead out train, his incredible victory on stage three of the Tour of Turkey shows he's more than capable of fending for himself. Sepp Kuss. This will be the young American second Grand Tour of the season, having been drafted in last minute to Jumbo Visma's Giro squad to replace an injured Robert Gessink. You can expect him to resume his role as one of Primoz Roglic's key mountain lieutenants, and with Jumbo Visma looking like the team to beat at this year's Vuelta, you can expect to see a lot of Kuss. However, we hope that he gets the chance to race for himself on a few stages and perhaps show some of that scintillating form he displayed at the Tour of Utah last year, where he won no less than three stages and took the overall win. James Knox, a 23-year-old Cumbrian climber, could be a really exciting prospect at this year's Vuelta. His De Kernic Quick Step team is set up for sprints, and stage wins, meaning that Knox could have free reign to target the stages he wants, which will invariably be in the high mountains. Now, he first displayed his climbing prowess and talent back in the 2017 Tour L'Avenir, where he took a second place on stage seven behind no less than Egan Bernal. Aside from the disappointment of the Giro d'Italia, where he was forced to withdraw on stage 13 because of a knee injury, Knox has had a quietly impressive season with a string of top 10s in World Tour stage races. 
And these results have clearly impressed the team as they've renewed his contract for a further two years. And you can expect him to repay the faith the team has in him with some good results on some of the hardest mountain stages. Mark Padden. Now, Bahrain Merida have had to change their plans at the last minute for the Vuelta a España after Domenico Pozzavivo, their main GC hope, suffered a nasty crash in training and will now miss the race. They've shifted their primary focus to stage wins and are also taking the young Slovenian as a potential GC result. Padden has had a quiet year through suffering from tendonitis in his knee, but this hasn't stopped him picking up some great results. In just his second race back from injury, he won his national time trial championships, and recently he won the overall at the Adriatica Ionica race. And all this means that he has to be added to the list of great young GC hopes who seek to challenge the established GC riders at the Vuelta. Oscar Rodriguez. Now it's fair to say that prior to stage 13 of last year's Vuelta, not many people had heard of Oscar Rodriguez. However, that all changed on the brutal summit finish up to La Camperona, where aged just 23, Rodriguez caught and then dropped both Rafael Mica and Dylan Turns to take the first professional win of his career. It's been a quiet year for Rodriguez with few big results to talk about until the Vuelta a Burgos. He came a very close second place behind Team Ineos's Ivan Sosa and finished ahead of the 2019 Giro winner Richard Carapaz. Now time will tell whether or not he decides to target the GC or stage wins, but he certainly looks to be coming into form at the right time. Right, so that's my list. It's by no means conclusive and I've probably missed off loads of amazing young riders. So let me know down in the comments section who I should have included and why. I look forward to reading your comments. And also head over to the GCN shop where you can get some Spain themed merch like this rather smart hoodie. And if you haven't already, you can watch our Vuelta preview show, which is down here. And don't forget, we're gonna have Vuelta highlights daily on the GCN Racing Channel.